It's not over yet. Holy. Holy. It's crashed. It's crashed. That is still not enough. No. Need for Speed Underground 1 was one of the first racing games to give us street racing in highly detailed urban environments. Releasing in 2003, just two years after the first Fast and Furious movie, it's very clear the movie had a large influence on the design of the game, with a large focus being on rising up as well as tuning up your ride. If this game released without a name and I'd just seen the Fast and Furious movie, you wouldn't be able to blame me for thinking the two were related or that this was a Fast and Furious game. Underground 1 marked a turning point in the arcade racing genre and even to this day, many consider this and Underground 2 to be the best in the Need for Speed series and even the racing genre as a whole. And now I'm going to try and complete it for the very first time, but with a twist. So let's outline the rules, shall we? But before we do that, first of all, welcome to the gaming definition. My name is James. I play all sorts of different games and set out to complete them in different and more difficult ways than normal. I like to challenge myself. Anyway, back to the challenge. I won't be upgrading any cars or accepting the hidden buff upgrades that you get from the challenge time trials. Oh no! No, 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 that's... On my first playthrough, I found out the hard way that these upgrades are permanent, and you have to accept one from the time trial. So we can't do those races. Not that we need the money anyway. So I started another profile. But there are times where you come across championship series races that force you to upgrade your car's performance to a minimum level. There we go, yeah. That's simply forced upon us, so that won't count against us within the challenge. However, any other races we stumble across, the cars must remain stock, otherwise the challenge is considered failed. We can use any car in the game that we like. There are no restrictions on that. However, I chose to make things more difficult for myself during this challenge and stuck with the MX-5 for the majority of the races, even when we had the RX-7 and Skyline available. So, time to find out. Can you beat Underground 1 without upgrading any cars? Welcome to the underground mode. Your racing career starts here. Take on the toughest drivers on our own. Ouch, that is seriously weak, dude. No dissing my Japanese shitbox. Hey, loser. <laughs> All right, check it. Maybe. <laughs> that one bald dude. Oh, I've gone. Hello. Oh my word, it's like Guitar Hero. Okay, it's not as bad as Guitar Hero. Yeah, I gotta be really, really, really light on the input on the left analog stick. Like, to an insane degree. We're talking 5% input is pretty much maximum on steering. Yeah, it's funny coming back to these games, remembering the old strats I used to employ and then employing different ones I've learned over the years and realizing the old strats were hella slow and inefficient. As the rubber banding that Need for Speed Underground 1 is notorious for doesn't kick in until the much later races, these early races were only really a challenge for the first five seconds of each race before we just blasted off into the distance. But if we have a quick look, we can see there are over 111 races to complete in the campaign. And honestly, outside of the odd drag race here and there being a little bit difficult, there was absolutely no challenge in the early game. You could see that from the fact I managed to use the unupgraded MX-5 pretty much the entire time. I'll skip to any moments of interest. That's unfortunate. Give X Defiant a go and see if that's any good, but... He drove into me. Oh well, it's only a Golf. A Mark IV Golf. Nothing of value was lost. Tournament. Was expecting a bit more competition here, but they haven't turned on the rubber banding yet, so. Right, now we've got to be careful. Because we don't want the upgrade. Can I decline it now? There we go. Cool, we did it. Right, I'm gonna go save. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Oops. 
Lovely. Right, here's what purchase all available performance. Okay. All of it. Ah, go away! Right, guys, as you can see, I have to install upgrades here because the game is forcing me to. But once we're done with this race, we are uninstalling them. Whoops. Do I need to change lane? Go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh. Nah, it's going to be a loss, isn't it? Right, we done? Okay, time to take everything off. Okay, so we want that. Now we're chilling. We're back to normal. What cars can we actually get? That water looks so bad. There I was not really steering because I, I thought it was still drag race for some reason. Okay, it's starting to get difficult now. Also, does any... Oh, my God. Sorry. It's funny because I've always played racing games. I just never really thought about making content on them. I didn't think it would would be possible. And don't get me wrong, it's extremely difficult because I'm not even scraping a thousand views at the minute. It's funny hearing my past self talk about view counts. This here Underground 1 footage was recorded in August, late August. I now have two Gran Turismo 4 videos with over 40,000 views. This just goes to show that sometimes you need a little patience and to just let things slow cook. I'd just like to take this time to say that I'm extremely grateful for all the kind messages and comments I've been receiving on the content lately. It's great that I'm having a chance to try and make passion projects and just videos on games I genuinely enjoy and have enjoyed for ages. I also very recently posted a full playthrough of Metro 2033. I tried to complete the entire game without firing a bullet. This was of course on the hardest possible difficulty as well. I originally built this channel around FPS games and I'm not forgetting them. I might not play multiplayer FPS games anymore, but we're branching out to all sorts of different challenge based content. We're done. God that race went on forever. Whereas here, starting fresh, I have that drive to improve, make better content and try and go somewhere with it. Entertain people. Huh? Excellent. Time trial. Right, I have to refuse this, right? Nope, don't want- Oh, wait, 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 wait. Almost messed up. We almost broke the run once again. <laughs> I'm only allowed to use the performance upgrades on the races, which force you to use the performance upgrades. <laughs> oh. Right, that is everything, yes? Installed, installed, stock, installed. Yeah, we're chilling. I'm gonna get you. Clean racing only, guys. Here we go again. He's gone! Sorry to GT1 and Project Cars 2. So much fun to drive. Chuck on a load of F1 cars and Indy cars. And now have this massive carnage of a race with LMP1. Oh. <laughs> Looks like we're slowly catching them, but. Oh, fuck! did it do that? That was terrifying. Yeah, baby. Pretty much same time as before. And now we've got to take everything off again. <laughs> I'm hard on the attack with the throttle. Nothing's happening. Clinical. No idea what we unlocked, but yeah. Oh no, a Subaru. We might have to buy a better car. It might be time to bring out the big guns, whatever the hell we have. No idea what we have. No idea what's even good in this game. I just saw MX5 and was like, yeah, let's do it. Whee! Bollocks. I don't know if we 
can afford that one mistake, but looks like we're catching them reasonably, so. Get out of the way, Grandma. Well, that sucks. Maybe the AI will mess up like I did. Yeah, they do seem slow through this sector. Oh, he fucking pushed me into the wall. Hopefully the AI takes the wrong the route through here. He's crashed. Never give up. They're crashing everywhere. It's all over. Bringing victory from the jaws of defeat. No idea how. We unlocked the Empresa. I'm not sure if we need it though. I'll just keep racing. Yeah, manual. Always manual. Oh, it's a cheeky Lancer with an awful, absolutely awful rear spoiler on it. Disgusting. How the hell is the Eclipse leading? Ugly car. Oh no, the understeer. Oof. The cars turn a lot until they don't. How your parents had to get to school in the morning. Oh dear. <laughs> What's happening, chat? They're driving like maniacs. Can't quite get the points high enough to where I want them to be. Oh! <laughs> Bro. You know when you just zone out? I was so focused on the points that I just wasn't looking at what I was doing. What? Taxi driver setting up a roadblock. Another drag race complete. What do we need to do now? Reputation 2. So I assume I need performance upgrades to- no? Oh, okay then. Is that a Supra? Why? I do enjoy these no upgrade challenges, but I do miss just tuning the absolute hell out of a car and then having high octane madness with the AI. Oh, oh, okay. Another easy dub. They are zooming. Looked all right. Of course, this game was never meant for free roam, so it's not as detailed as some other games. That's quite the rapid pace. We're not allow about to let that happen after leading the entire race, pretty much. No, thank you. But then the AI decided to get revenge for all the times I pit maneuvered them. Uh. Should have gone for the 360. He just drove into a wall of his own volition. I love having no upgrades because we can just keep the foot to the floor. For the most part. Oh no. We dead. What did I clip there? Just game decides that we were having too easy of a race. Shame. Is he following me? Six laps! Six. You're having a laugh, aren't you? This is Need for Speed, not bloody Gran Turismo. What? Hey, we beat the lap record as well. 102.6, I think it was. They say it's lonely. Hey, yeah, I remember you said about your, your car issue. 
savage. Not again. Not again, please. Anything but the drag races. Not gonna catch him. Whoa! You change lane, please. It wouldn't go any further right than that. He had to slow down. What the f What? Finally! A train was very close. Horrible. Gotta get all the performance upgrades again. Let me in. Oh, I've got to install level one first. What? Here we go again. We're just under halfway there to the end of the game. And here we have the most challenging race in the run so far. I stumbled across a drag race that just simply wasn't possible in the MX-5. We faced off against a pair of rapid rivals, both opting for a Mitsubishi Eclipse each. The Subaru Impreza we were racing against wasn't a big issue. The Eclipses in question, however, had insane pace. So after about an hour of retrying the same race over and over again in the MX-5, I finally swapped over to the Nissan Sentra. If only I knew that this wouldn't be the last time I'd spend an hour trying to beat a race. Things were only going to get worse from here. That was awful. That was genuinely awful. I just want to finish the game with the MX-5 as much as possible. AI can skip entire sections of the map when they crash because they can ignore respawn checkpoints. Wow. No, we don't even have nitros. The only time we ever have upgrades is when the game forces us to for the tournament races. There's, there's some missions that you get, time trial challenges, where if you complete them, you get permanent hidden buffs for your car. He turned into me there. He wasn't that heavy on the steering, then really went for it at the moment we were side by side. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? I swear the walls are ridiculous in this. <laughs> it's not just me that it happens to them. We got stuck on one of the drag races yesterday for just shy of an hour. It was unbelievably difficult. Oh, I, I appear to have found the Salika gang. Looked like he was going to crash there, but oh, and he did. It's crazy when you can see the rubber banding in live action. Well, I'll be damned. Whenever people say good luck, I assume they're saying that because they know something about the game that I don't and are implying that something menacing is lurking around the corner. Lap knockout. The last person to cross the line each lap gets knocked out. Make sure you're not the last one to cross the line. Or your ride is toast. What the hell is happening? What? The aliens are invading? Also, by the way, guys, I ended up buying and installing Baldur's Gate 3. And oh my word, what a game it is. I've got to be careful with it because I could easily sink hundreds of hours into a game like this. 
and forget the world exists. Well, that's that. We're onto the tournament now. I assume we need upgrades. Oof. We've got four laps to catch them up. We out here in the underground. What? I mean, it's funny because I'm not even really going back with nostalgia because this is way further than I ever got into this game and I'm still enjoying my time. I've played a brief bit of one of the Midnight Club games. I'm not... No! Oh, come on. Well, there it is, finally. Holy. Yeah, but yeah, what we keep doing is we keep going back to the MX-5. Wow. Once we're done with drag races. Oh, that's kind of clean, though. I like that. All right, can we, can we race? We've got to do up, all the upgrades, guys. <laughs> Send him into a pool walker. This is some insane speed. Look at it go. That curb is lethal. Oh, just got to be done, you know. You enjoy the GT movie? Want another unique upgrade? No. Is that an S two thousand? It is. It's a lot of them. Bloody hell! We zoom me now. Yeah, the S2000s just weren't keeping up, were they? Oh, mate, the RX-7 handling in carbon is overpowered. It's so good. <laughs> Sickest commentary ever. And now we're going for the hard left. Got to get be hard on the brakes. Watch out for the wall jutting out on the right-hand side. Going over the lovely easy bumps instead of the big ones. Absolutely taking the ever-living chunk out of the engine on the left-hand side. There's nothing remaining there. Now we're going to get a little bit of air and twist the car slightly to the right. Go in between the two big bridge support beams whatever you want to call it across the line easy peasy lemon squeezy no s2000 within sight within viewing distance it's the case of if i have something to say i'll say it otherwise i'm not gonna just be out here going oh um oh. <laughs> just got that intense focus on the racing 
to be fair, it's like a, it's like going into a trance almost. Just me in the car, the track. I get quite competitive with trying to exceed what I was capable of doing before, you know? <laughs> That's what I was trying to avoid and it just snap over steered back into it. And for drag races we're using, we're using, what's it called? Cars other than the MX-5. And race over. Oh, he's crashed. Well, okay. Back to the MX-5. The, the average cars we're racing against are getting a lot better. Oh, we actually can't keep up anymore. Six laps as well, so we've got plenty of time to refine our driving. Come back. Okay, now keep the lead, I guess, for another five laps. You can't drive through those poles in this game. Yeah, it looked like it was going to be an extremely difficult race, and then the AI has just fallen off. Brake check, no tail. That's very unfortunate. That was terrifying. What's that up ahead? S2000? Eclipse? Stonks. I'm happy playing racing games and starting to create content on this. Does anybody remember the name of the actor that played the rebel shock trooper in The Mandalorian? Oh, hello. Bloody hell. You wanna sh I trusted you. And, and, and now you want to take me on? See you at the street, punk. That was so cringy. Nico Racing. What the f... That's an Accord, right? No, it's a Civic. Oh, okay. They look quite similar to the Accords. From the back, at least. Fun. Ah! Oh, GG's. Fortuna, I think, is what I'm thinking of. 21 races away from completing the game. S2000. 350Z and a RX-7 on lap knockout. I hope there's a lot of harsh corners because we're not going to win otherwise. Oi! They always do that. Yeah, I added power upgrades to the um, Speed 12. Oh, what the f Rip. Oh, ho, 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 ho. please somebody clip that and see how close to the wall I was because I swear my car clipped through that. You can see immediately on the map we are nowhere near the leading RX-7. We just simply don't have the pace. Yeah, sure, we corner faster, but considering we're on a track that's rather lacking corners, we don't have much available space to make time. So all we can do is hope that the AI takes the wrong route through the track. And guess what it does? Oh! <laughs> oh man, that's why I never give up. AI with the huge skill issue, as some would say. Ah, oh, gotta upgrade it.
I'm so glad future Need for Speed games didn't force you to upgrade your car. <laughs> oh no! Hey! That's the tournament done. 92 out of 111. Oh no. Those are some insane cars. Might have to crack out the RX-7. Well, we've caught one. That skyline is gone gone, though. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, f Rip. Give me slipstream, please. What? Okay. We're first place. No! Okay, this is far beyond what I remember from this game because I never played. I never played past probably the 15th race as a kid. I got bored of the game. <laughs> In all fairness, that was back when free roam was the new big thing. And this game not having free roam was, a, was disastrous for me. Because I, I went back to experience this game instead of experiencing it when it first came out, unfortunately. But I had Gran Turismo 3 and 4 to play instead of this game back then, so... I experienced a lot of circuit racing already, you know? It's crazy that untuned starter cars in this game actually feel fast. Whereas in Most Wanted and Carbon, they are dead slow. <laughs> that was... <laughs> oh, almost disaster. Almost. Kurt's killer ride. Alright. Five laps to undo all the damage I just caused with that lap. You can see them slightly rubber banding. Suddenly juddering forward. Much faster through here. S2000 is catching me. I downshifted just as we hit the ground and it seemed to retain more speed. We've gotten so far in the game on these circuit races with a stock MX-5 and it might be time that I can't actually finish the game with a stock MX-5 and have to do a different car. Because so far we've been limiting ourselves to only the MX-5 for races other than drag races, right? And only using the MX-5 when it's time to upgrade the car for the tournaments. But when it forces us to upgrade cars. But now, I mean, we've proven it's possible by leading for many laps of the race. So we just need that luck to get in front in the first place. That's the fastest one. These two are gonna fight now, leading to me catching both of them around this sector. And the fastest RX-7 is gaining on us already. I think we have to play this tactically. Or we'll just get wiped out by the S2000. And this is what we have to do for the rest of the race. If we get caught at the bridge, it's pretty much over. I have to slow down and pit maneuver them. I think we're just going to be safe of the bridge. Yeah. It's just after the bridge that they're going to catch us. He tried to follow us. Okay, we've got some time. 
resets the distance. We're chilling. We're pulling away. <laughs> that scares me. No time for complacency here. 128.6. Ah. Oh, he's gaining on me fast. That might be because of the bridge, though. Oh my word, that's a rubber band. Is not good. No, that's got the adrenaline going. Come on, 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 come on. Oh my God. Yes! What a f That was unbelievably difficult. Oh my God. How many times have we done that race? Holy sh. Little did past me know that this was the easy bit. It was about to get a lot harder. I ain't risking losing that save. Have we been on that race for an hour? We've been on that race over an hour. Oh. <laughs> uh. There's a website called Abandonware, where you can download all the and play them on PC. Whoa. We've got another tough race ahead of ourselves, guys. And there's no traffic as well. Don't really know how I'm going to win this one. We're gradually getting closer to that 350Z, but then he just shoots off. Okay. Now for the RX-7. Looks like no win for us here. Nope. Alright. Yep, we're catching him big time. But look who else is coming. Taking the wrong route again, though. A low 57. Yeah, the 350 and the RX-7 both took the wrong line. There might be a collision here though, so I've got to stick right. There we go. Nope, you followed me. <laughs> Who's that? Nope. Crashed again. A high 56. It's not over yet. Holy sh. Holy. What was that? <laughs> that was insane rubber banding. We are working our asses off here to get these wins. This race is going to be difficult, but not as difficult as the one before. It didn't feel like six laps, though. It's quite a fun race. I'm so glad I'm having fun with this game.
It's a shame I never gave it a chance as a kid, but... Oh, sh Oh. That was very easy, con considering. We did. The AI has given up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Handbrake turns are not a thing. <laughs> yeah, I always have an itchy nose. It's really f***ing irritating. Man just disappeared. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? He just keeps disappearing. <laughs> We're going so quickly, I missed the shortcut. Oh! How do you have traction, you bloody rubber banding hooligan? That S2000 is grippy. Okay. Uh, oh! <laughs> what the f just happened? Clips was break dancing. <laughs> oh, I keep thinking I can drive through the lamp posts like you can in. Most wanted in carbon. We done? Yeah, baby. You're on the cover of Hot Fours, sweet. <laughs> For God's sake. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We're making good progress. Not long at all to go. But it's getting really, really, really difficult. Alright, we're done. Stock, 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 stock. Stock, 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 stock. Okay. A 350, a Skyline, and an RX-7. Walked into a bar. I have bad news. It's lap knockout. I don't think we're catching them. A 350Z, no problem. The RX-7, maybe. The Skyline, you're having a laugh. No, we lost. <laughs> Oh, uh, we're on lap, lap knockout right now as well. We might have to buy a better car. Right now, if that can happen to the skyline, we have a chance. Why is he so slow? Come on! Man. We need some insane RNG for this. I was not looking. It's crashed. It's crashed. That is still not enough. Come on. Dude. That's f***ing insane. Come on, Skyline. Crash. It needs to crash badly. Oh. <gasps> I've already spent nearly two hours on this race, chat. So you better believe that my heart is racing at about 130 beats per minute right now. I it up. He just steers. His corner is better than mine. Please don't go right. Nah, we've lost it. We lost it. The handling on that skyline is just too good. My car does not steer, but it shows it's possible. 
A further two hours of relentless attempts later, this happened. Oh my god. The rubbish got stuck on my car. Normally hitting that rubbish doesn't slow you down at all. But ob objects get stuck on the car and cause you to lag. Even if they don't actually have any weight to them or impact on the car. Just a bug or something. Oh my god. We were finally presented a grand opportunity. We were in front with basically two laps left to go. However, this would also be a major struggle. We had to somehow find areas to block the skyline, keep them from getting past, and that was no easy feat. The pace at which the skyline would drive into us could easily send us careering out of control. We'd learned from previous mistakes and decided to slow down and choose better places for blocking. This led to one of the most nail-bitingly close races so far in the challenge. <laughs> yes! Four hours. Four. Four hours of this race. Over and over and over and over and over again. Oh, bloody hell. Shall we move on? Shall we get back to it? What have we got now? What now? S2000, easy. 350Z, easy. RX7. Huh? Might be a struggle. Seven laps of this. We gotta be so fine with that. <gasps> yeah! Like what I said happened! They took the shortcut and messed themselves up. And that's exactly why I pretend it doesn't exist. I'm trying to take a wide line around that to cut back in, but it doesn't cut back. It doesn't come. It doesn't come back. I can't believe how difficult the previous race was and now here we are just zooming miles ahead no ai cars in sight i'm able to make mistakes and it doesn't matter <laughs> oh my the last time i spent hours perfecting a race to be able to beat it was probably mission 34 of gran turismo's driving challenges and we win cheers so close to the end number one racer Oh no. Oh no. Um, get nice and comfy. We're gonna be back and forth on this race a hell of a lot. I don't know guys. It's not looking like we're gonna be able to do this. Let's 
surprisingly, even with how difficult this RX-7 race was, it only took us about half an hour to beat. I guess luck was just on our side. <laughs> Your dog's driving! <laughs> <sighs> what will win? One overly tuned up RX-7 or one angry van man? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Oh, it's on! Oh, it's on! We'll see. Shit. Well, we're catching them. So I don't think this is impossible. Looks more possible than... A lot of the other races we've done. Oh my word! Just need to front run out of crash now and keep these bastards behind me. <laughs> Bloody hell! It's a tough one for sure, just I don't think it's anywhere near as difficult as the other ones we've already done. Oh, one spun out, two spun out. Because it's not happening in the MX-5. Oh god, it doesn't corner. Holy. Look at me. It's a brick. He crashed. But he's gone. Come on, no cars, no cars, no cars, no cars. Oh. Now cars. Come on, crash. <laughs> yeah, he slowed down. They're all slow. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> no. <gasps> they were sandwiching me, man. It's not over yet. He went for the inside. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Draft. Man, never know, they might do some impossible skill issue. Hashtag copium. Yeah. What the fuck? Attraction's insane. Well, this is terrifying. <laughs> well, there we go. Somehow. God damn.
Surely a win. Right, we've got to get the skyline out for this. Standard. But that's fine for drag races. Like I said, we're allowed to do that. Oh no. Oh no. I've got very bad news. We've won every single one of the drag races so far without upgrades until now. That's not even moving him. Yeah, the only way we win is if they all crash. And now we came across a race where it just simply isn't possible to win. The only way we could possibly win this without upgrades is if every single AI driver crashed. That requires some crazy RNG that I just simply didn't have the patience to go for. I mean, at this point in time, I didn't know if it was even possible for them all to crash in one race. So unfortunately, right at the final stretch, we have failed the challenge. However, the video isn't ending here. We are still going to try and beat the rest of the races in the game without any upgrades. And I'll give you a light spoiler now, I didn't use upgrades in any of the upcoming races. I could tell they were all theoretically possible without upgrades, but you're going to see just how difficult that's going to be. As for this drag race here, even with a fully upgraded skyline, we were still struggling to keep up with the other AI cars. This is a testament to how difficult this race was. Even with the upgrades, it's insanely hard. So yeah, is the game completable? Without upgrades? No. You can get quite far into it though. Outside of the forced events. Ouch. Damn, that's the closest one so far. <laughs> Even with upgrades, that was insane. Drag races are the bane of our existence. I think the reason why it didn't happen when we were on the no upgrade attempts is because when you're closer to the AI, they drive more erratically and they drive weirdly around what lane you're in. Wherever you are positioned in the road, they'll do weird things. What's that about? I don't know what this is, but is this the final race? The hell was that? <laughs> Back here again, chat. We all know how this one's winnable. I'm sure you all know what I'm trying to do. It would be fine if the AI was able to drive at like peak traction and all that, but it should be locked to the physics of the game and not beyond that. Ah, oh, didn't knock him off the track. This is insane. <laughs> We've got three more laps of this. Or not. He's captured me so quickly. <laughs> Go away. Look at that. <laughs> Damn Hector and his spoon engines. Can't drive through walls, thankfully. <laughs> yeah, rubber banding like mad. <laughs> Come on! Final lap! 
Oh my god, he's coming in. He's closing in fast. No mistakes. Zero. Zero mistakes from here on out. Oh my god, he's coming in quick. Oh my god! He's already right behind me! What the hell? What the f- Come on! Oh my god, we got him! <laughs> <laughs> the side swipe of gods! Oh my word, what a race. We zoom in. Who the hell are you? Oh no, that's a skyline. I don't think we have this, chaps. What do you reckon? Wait, what? I won? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? What? Man just despawned. <laughs> oh man, you did it! You won! You won! Uh, heads up! Legend of the street. I'm not even gonna try the MX5. Not even trying it. Oh god, it's this track. Uh oh! Hades just can, or a little diglet just popped his head out of the ground and just headbutted my car. Can't believe it's this damn track again, dude. I hate that we're staying consistently at the same distance. It's evil. I want to see her lap times. There's not, there's next to nothing in it. Not much in the average speed difference, even though her car is 21 miles per hour difference. Yeah, only way we're winning this is if they crash. Let's go and have a look at the lap times. What's the bet she got a 118 on the lap that I did a 120? Seven second difference at the start cucked me. See, even with a terrible bit, terrible bit of cornering there, right? We're still at the exact same distance away from her that we were last race when we were doing better this lap. Whether I'm getting 128s, 120. 120s on the laps following it doesn't matter i don't think it's just entirely keeping at this distance and waiting for a mistake from her fps might affect physics yeah that's possible we're at 60 fps now i think it's handling a little bit better though That's the first time that's actually worked. There's no way I can drive faster than her, but I know what I'm doing with blocking for the most part. We tried the skyline earlier, earlier, and every single time. Oh no. Well, that's the loss. Yeah, look, every single time. Every single time we're getting past her, whereas it was impossible at 240 frames. Skyline still sucks, but handling wise. All right, hold the outside line. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely not possible in the RX-7, let's put it that way. You f <laughs> That's Karma, you bitch! Oh no.
Wow. These are slow, much slower laps than... Hey, Henry. I'm so glad I specced heavily into defense. Oh, here she comes again already. I got bad news, chat. The car was not turning. Oh, she crashed! That was a big crash! We laid a trap. And she's already right behind me. No, we lost it. Imagine losing it at the final bit. Now, if you know me, you know that I'm the sort of person to keep hitting the wall until I break through it, especially when we've made it this far already. This race right here is easily the hardest race I've ever experienced in any racing game ever. Many viewers were telling me that this is a very unforgiving challenge, even with a fully kitted out car. I'd even go as far to say that this final race here against Melissa is the Dark Souls equivalent of a racing game finale. It simply doesn't matter if we're driving to virtually perfect levels. We still needed more than what I had to give to win the race, whether that be traffic positioning or Melissa making mistakes throughout the race. And with two hours spent repeating this race over and over again, we were in for the long haul. Oh my God. Rubber bandit. Yeah, go on. Go on. Light work, no reaction. You <laughs> That's not how it's meant to happen. Almost. Went down to second. No. Also no. This is the first time we've gone into the final lap leading, correct? She spun out! Holy! This better be the one! She's coming back already!
That was easily the most crushing defeat of the run so far. That really hurt. But we know where we went wrong. The pressure of being in the lead for so long proved too much. This time around, we needed to commit to staying cool and staying focused. We were going to win this race eventually. We just had to get it done. What is the car doing? that please what is even going on anymore baited her into the car here we go again crashed out herself. Come on. No cars. <laughs> you can't see it. Now you can. Is that the no upgrade challenge complete? That's that done. <laughs> oh my god. Every single race, apart from one, has been complete with no upgrades. We did it. Oh my god, that was insanely difficult. This has easily been the most difficult racing experience I've had in any video game. And we're done. We are done. I can't save the game though for some reason. There we go. Have a fantastic rest of your evening, morning, day, the afternoon, night. Hopefully see you tomorrow. Don't know what with, but bloody hell, we completed the game. We did it. We did it. Have a great one. See you later. Thank you all very much for watching today's video. It is once again time to thank all of my YouTube channel members. Thank you all very much for your consistent support. You guys are helping fund videos like this, and it genuinely means a lot to me. Today, we have a few people reaching some milestones. RL is just closing in on five years of being a channel member. That's kind of crazy. Infamous is just about to hit three years. Mortified Penguin, Reaper Hacks, and NRTX Dragon have all hit 24 months. Wooter just over a year, with Dinkleberg just hitting a year as well. I do appreciate you all. We also have Nexit hitting 24 months in total. That is crazy. And lastly, an extra special shout out goes out to all of my God Mode tier members, NRTX Dragon, Nexit, and the Because. I appreciate you all and thank you very much. If anybody does want to become a channel member to help support the channel, there are links in the description down below and pinned comment. Without any further ado, thank you all very much. And future videos, you can expect an American car only challenge on Gran Turismo 4, Aliens vs Predator Marines campaign with a pistol only, and that's about as far as we've gotten so far. If you want to check out previous videos, I recently uploaded a Can You Beat Metro 2033 without firing a bullet challenge. That was crazy difficult. We also have Can You Beat Gran Turismo 4 with British cars only, and Can You Beat Gran Turismo 4 without upgrading any cars. We've done a lot of no upgrade challenges and succeeded in all of them so far. Apart from this one, of course, but dropping one race isn't too bad at the end of the day. And on that note, have a great one. See you later.